When you hear the word Sahara, you likely envision endless sandy landscapes. Picture a caravan of camels trekking along the dunes under the bright sun. But, believe it or not, 6,000 years ago, the Sahara was vastly different. An arid desert, spanning over 9 million square kilometers, was once a lush green carpet. Entire settlements and grazing animals thrived in what's now mostly hot sand. Green meadows and lakes, fed by abundant rainfall, shaped a fertile landscape. One remarkable feature was the River Tamanrasset, flowing over 500 kilometers. Satellite images in 2015 unveiled the largest Palea River, hidden beneath the modern desert. In Central Africa, Lake Mega Chad existed, dwarfing the modern Lake Chad. This ancient lake, over 390,000 square kilometers, would be the largest on Earth today. NASA's images vividly capture the enormity of Lake Mega Chad, now just a ghost lake. It serves as a silent reminder of a once thriving ecosystem lost to time. So, what led to this transformation? Environmental archaeologist David Wright suggests livestock as a key factor. Livestock, trampling and consuming vegetation, altered the landscape and triggered climate change. The soil exposure increased sunlight reflection, leading to decreased precipitation and eventual drought. Droughts unfolded, wiping out the vegetation, turning the green Sahara into a vast desert. But it's not solely the animals at fault, some argue cattle farmers accelerated an existing process. In 2018, another hypothesis emerged, ancient herders extended the green Sahara's existence by 500 years. Seasonal cattle driving and selective grazing were seen as methods to sustain a declining ecosystem. A third group blames Earth's axis, citing a 20,000-year cycle shifting Sahara's climate from humid to dry. Dust studies off West Africa's coast over 240,000 years support this theory. The Earth's axis tilt affects sunlight distribution, impacting the Sahara's climate every 20,000 years. It lasts for but during the monsoons, which occur when there's less sunlight, they weaken, turning the moist climate into a drought. This cycle suggests that after 10,000 years, meadows could bloom again in the Sahara, allowing animals to graze. However, the mysteries of the majestic desert go beyond the invisible river and the ghost lake. In the Mesozoic era, during the ancient continent division of Gondwana and Laurasia, the ocean receded, plates moved, and what we now call Wadi el Keaton, meaning the Valley of the Whales in Arabic, emerged. Surprisingly, modern whales have ancient ancestors, like Bacillus aureus, with sharp teeth and small hind limbs.